Now, Mary was obviously a female cat, and some people have you know preferences as to what gender pet they want. So we have a, a male cat for everybody. This is Panda, and he is also about a year old, a little bit bigger in size. Um, he's got those kind of chubby tomcat cheeks, um, and he is what people refer to as like the classic tuxedo cat, although I don't know if you can really see it um, by the way that he's sitting, but he has the nice kind of white chest. Um, that's not actually, people will refer to it as like a color pattern. It's not. Um, what, what that really would be would be like piebald or something like that. Um, but everybody refers to them as tuxedos. Um, and he is a sweet guy. He was owner surrender too. When I, when I looked it up in the computer, unfortunately, I think his owner was arrested and that was the reason that um, he eventually made his way here to our facility. But we're hoping that relatively quickly we'll be able to find him a new loving home. Um, recently, a bunch of rescues came and pulled some cats. So I think that will um, give Panda and some of the other cats that are still here an opportunity to really stand out since there aren't as many options. Um, you know, um, they get to shine because it's just easier to take note of them. Um, he, uh, when I first came in, you know, super unassuming, just kind of laying there. Um, but recently, um, you know, he's been a little bit more active, moving around. He's a nice, quiet guy. Um, and I'm just really starting to enjoy watching him come out of, of his shell a little bit. Yeah. So on his behavior assessment, it does describe him as shy. Can that change over the course of a shelter stay with a cat? Yeah, so like today when I went to kind of spend some time with him to get more information, you know, he came right down. Like he, you know, I sat on the side of his cage because he's in one of those bigger cages and he took a second and then he was like, actually, and he came right down and was like sitting kind of half on my lap and half off. And he, when I stopped petting him, he was initiating petting. So he is getting more comfortable. Whereas, you know, previously, you know, he's been here for a couple weeks now, he was just kind of sitting there, kind of behind his bed, staring out. You could pet him, but he wasn't really active and moving around. So that's definitely shifted. And sometimes when cats come here, they're just nervous in the new environment because shelters are so stressful. So many animals, so many smells, so many noises. Um, so it could just be that acclimation process um, and he might not be shy in a new home, but it also shows you that, you know, about how long it takes them to adjust, a couple weeks for him. Um, so that might be what he needs to acclimate and start becoming more um, social, confident in your, in your home once you make him part of your family. Um, if you want to take a chance on Panda uh, and make him part of your family, the first step is going to be to um, go to our booking site, which is visitfcac.as.me to make that appointment. And again, in July, you can pick your own adoption fee for Panda.